Hello everyone, I'm doing a video today to talk about some multiplayer things. So I'm sure some of you have played single player and you've made bases and such. So yeah, it's all fun. Yeah, I enjoy it myself. So I was playing multiplayer today and I found a server of playing on. It's a PvP style server. You spawn in with a random kit. And the better the kit, the lower the chance of you getting it. I was playing, I made a base. It, it was very simple, five foundations, four of which was out of the actual base that had walls, roofs, and crates in it. Well, I found out there's no point in doing so. Why? Because people can just open your fucking door and walk in and take your stuff. It's like, why bother? And let's say for some reason I somehow left the door open. Let's just assume I left the door open somehow. Don't know how that could have happened, but whatever. The door was open for some reason. And they walked in. What does it matter? They can break the door down anyways. So I was thinking... <coughs> why not make it where buildings are invincible? I know some people are already going to be like, that's overpowered. I t talk a lot about balance. It's balance anything. So I would I suggest something so OP. Add in some different types of explosives. Add in different explosives that can do different things. Some of them are better at just pure damage. Some of them are better at taking certain things down. It just depends. And not like one grenade can blow up half your face. Like, this is some serious stuff. You have to find raw explosive, have the crafting skill to do so. Like, this is a serious thing. Since ever since Unturned was created, and ever since Unturned was base building oriented. I, I consider it base building oriented. I've always wanted to just go around making my base, like just make my base, and then raid other people's bases, like in Rust. As like, because Rust was a good concept. You survive, you make your base, and you make stuff. And then you go and fight other people. <coughs> it's like, that, that was a good concept. In World War Z, was a good concept. The survival, the zombie survival of peace, PvP style. All both really good ideas. So why not focus more towards that? A mix of Warzy and Rust, where you still have zombies, you still have the guns, and you still have to find stuff, but you can also craft weapons. You can also make bases. You can do this and that, and encourage both styles of play, where it's still PvP based, but it's also based on Rust. Where you have to make explosives to raid people's bases. No matter what the material is, you cannot break them with anything but explosives. Like, you can use grenades, but it'll take a lot of grenades. This way, building a base has a purpose. Because if you play multiplayer, you build a base and you store your stuff. And let's say you have snipers, let's say you have assault, like you have actual stuff. Well, what are you going to do when someone just happens to spawn next to it? And just punch your door down and take all of it. It's like, yeah, they just happen to spawn nearby while you're all flying, beat your door down, and then take all your stuff. Yeah, because that would be a lot of fun. But when it's like they blew it up or you're there defending, like that's a lot more fun. Like I got to a little bit of PvP, it was alright. And I killed several players. Like I even used the M107 on the Grizzly and the Timberwolf. <coughs> and I, my first two kills, actually my first three kills were all hatch. Actually, all four, like four PVP kills. And I consider PVP being both of us have weapons and both of us can fight each other. And the first guy I killed. Um, I think, it was just, I think it was just a generic situation. Like he was running somewhere, and I just I laid prone with a sniper and just shot him and killed him. And the second guy stood still for a moment. I had the temporal, took him out with one shot to the head. And then the third guy, I uh, killed him with the grizzly while he was trying to steal my car, and I headshot him too. Then the fourth guy was on a hill. He had the elevation advantage. I put two bullets from the AK-47 to his head. He was Jubeck the cop. If you want to go by what the game says, 
which if you know is you back in the cons is garbage especially at zero percent durability is garbage it does metacore damage so that it's not that bad but it's accuracy it could hit the broad side of a fucking barn if you try now of course i exaggerate it's not literally that bad but I was finding him put two shots dead on into his head kill. So it, it was really good PvP. It was a lot of fun to play. <coughs> but the fact that no matter what I do making my base, they can just walk right in or just punch my door down and take my stuff. Why bother? Why play multiplayer? Why even have a multiplayer option? I can see like a server being you spawning with random weapons and then you just fight each other and there's like a lot of weapon spawns like the weapon spawns are really high and such like i can see that that would be fun but where it's like the weapons the spawns are okay it's encouraged to build a base and do all that it's like no there's not much point to it so i would like to see base building get added on to where there's more things you can build there's explosives that to raid. Like, I would like to see it where if you have two walls, you can make a fortified wall, which takes an even higher grade of explosive. Like, there's like, let's say there's three tiers of walls. There's the standard wall, which is your typical wall. It's not very strong. It takes several grenades to blow up, or one standard dynamite charge, which is like two raw explosives and duct tape, I guess. And then there's the fortified wall, which takes C4, which takes a lot more raw explosives to make. And then there's like the reinforced wall, which is more expensive to make. It requires metal, but in the end, it takes a lot more to blow it up. It takes like several C4 charges. In terms of like explosives, there should be several tiers. There should be the hand grenade, which isn't very strong against buildings. It's mainly made for players and vehicles. The TNT, which is just basically like one raw explosive in general, and like a rope, or like a fuse, and it's really weak. It can take down some walls if you use enough of it, but it's not very strong. And then dynamite, several TNT, and C4 is even more. It's like it gets better and better, but it's like, it's like one wall will get taken down by like maybe one C4, I guess, or two. Just make it where it's in a way where bases are good. It's encouraged to build your base. Because currently, if I have a chainsaw, I can go up to someone's base, cut their door open, and take their stuff. It's not that difficult. And then we get to the point of where, what if I misplace something? What if I accidentally play something I don't want? Have it where every building piece has a quote-unquote owner. That owner does a lot more damage. They can actually break it with melee if they want to. <coughs> but I would like to just see buildings get fixed to where it's encouraged to build a base and store your stuff to survive better. I mean, having a base is really good. But where it's someplace you can actually like go and be safe, not where... You can just be there and like I can watch that door because if anyone opens it, I can kill them. It just isn't that good. But I hope this gets thick and I hope it gets made better. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.